Hello YouTube, I'm Zach, you're watching Zach DTV, the place for interesting news from around the net. Today's episode is like an issue of Spider-Man. We have a giant mech suit, we also are looking into a set of arms like Dr. Octopus, and we're going to wrap up with basically the Green Goblin's hover deck. Well, let's get right into this. My first story is an update on the Megabots Sudabashi fight. Last week, Megabots brought their mech out, the Mark III, and did a demonstration with it. And it was sad. I know, I was hoping for something great here, and it was really, really slow, and not the mech that I was hoping for. Now, according to Megabot's co-founder, Matt Orlin, he says, the robot is moving slowly because we have artificially limited to one quarter speed. We just got the fully assembled robot moving a week or so ago. So we want to make sure we aren't pushing its limits for the first time in front of a large live audience. A time when it needs to be safe and reliable. That makes sense to me. You know, if you have an untested robot, you might as well be safe with it because you blow something up, there's people that could be hurt. And all in all, the thing does look kind of cool. It has that bald eagle head sitting on its shoulder, the red, white, and blue graphics. It's a neat looking mech. Although, like you saw in the video, a very uneventful punch. I hope it gets a lot faster than that. Now, they do say they have a grapple for lumber, which you can see it's using as its hand. And that cannon is supposed to launch three-pound projectiles at 130 miles an hour. I don't know how that's going to work for their match against Tsutabashi. I know they were talking they wanted a straight melee match. So we'll see if that attachment stays in for the battle. Well, that's the most recent bit of news I could find on this match. I'll keep you updated when more comes out. For my next story... Let's look at something created by Inami Hiyama Laboratories. They're calling these metal limbs, or metal limbs. I'm not sure it's M-E-T-A-L-I-M-B-S, metal limbs. And they're going to be showcased this year at the SIGGRAPH 2017 Emerging Technologies Fair. I told you, they're like Dr. Octopus arms. In order to use these, they use tracking sensors at your knees and your feet that allow you to control your wrist and elbow joints. Then you put bend sensors on your toes, so that squeezing them actuates the hands to make a fist. There's even feedback when your hand touches something by the form of a band that squeezes your foot to let you know you're running into something. And it does have other attachments. Like they show in the video, an octopusy looking hand. They have a soldering iron attachment, obviously. So there is some options for this set. Now, while I'm sure nobody's going to run out and pick up metal arms that you have to be sitting down to use, we always do have Elon Musk Neuralink coming up. So this might have some great uses for amputees or people born without arms. Or if you just want to be a world-class supervillain. All right, now let's talk about the coolest drone delivery ever. This happened at the Portuguese Cup Finals over the weekend. This is how they decided to get the ball to the ref to start the final cup match. Now this guy looks like he knows what he's doing, right? Very comfortable on the board, having a good time. Takes off, lands well, couple little maneuvers in the air. How neat is that? I want to know how long it'll be until I can get one of those. At the same time, you don't want to fall off something like this because those rotors are moving pretty fast and I can imagine the damage they do. But this is definitely a lot closer to a hoverboard than those two-wheeled monstrosities everybody was calling a hoverboard when they don't even fly. All right, and with that, I'm going to wrap it up. Hey, if you like what I do, go ahead and click the subscribe button over here. I do this five days a week. That's Monday through Friday. Except for holidays, like I did take yesterday off. But I will be back tomorrow. I'll see you guys then. Be safe.